Hello there friends, welcome back to your favorite channel, where we bring you trending and interesting news from around the world. May I quickly encourage you to subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Endeavor to share this news story with your friends, family, relations and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Don't forget to share these stories all around. Thank you. I appreciate your support. Chief Femi Fani Kayode feels upset with the rate of crimes, kidnapping and bandit free in Nigeria. He frowns at the way insecurity is increasing in the country. He also condemned negotiation between the government and the bandits or terrorists. Chief Femi Fanekayade shows how bad he feels concerning the new way bandits operate when it comes to ransom. According to Chief Femi Fanekayade, the bandits don't only kidnap and ask for ransom nowadays. He said that they now kidnap, ask for ransom, and also kill the victims. Shifami Fanikayode said that a similar case happened in Zamfara State today. According to Femi Fanikayode, the above is what happened when one negotiates with and appease terrorists. Shifami Fanikayode warns that it is either the war is fought properly or the keys to Asorok will be handed over to the bandits. They don't just kidnap and ask for ransom nowadays, he tweeted. They collect the ransom and still kill those they kidnapped. This happened in Zamfara today. That is what happens when you negotiate with and appease terrorists. We either fight this war properly or give them the keys to Asurok, he said. Well, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? Do you think that negotiating with these terrorists is the best option? A lot of people have actually criticized the way and uh, manner at which this government under this administration goes about the issues uh, of um, the headsmen, terrorists, the BH guys, bandits, and all whatever they call themselves, the extremist group. True to what Chief Femi Fanikayode said, they go ahead to demand ransom after kidnapping and still kill the victims. This should not be. It has happened a couple of times. And according to Chief Femi Fanikayode, he said it happened again in Zamfara. This is what the government has put Nigerians into. The government has been negotiating with the terrorists over a period of time and they are, they are yet to, and they are yet to also, uh, get any favorable response from the terrorists because the terrorists are not ready to yield to the government totally they continue to carry out the activities take decisions carry out steps that does not in any way or that contradicts the agreement that they entered into with the government yet the government is unable to do anything about it Personally, I feel this is worrisome. The challenges here and there is very, very obvious. But regardless, terrorists are not to be negotiated with. Until we come to that decision, we probably may just be setting up the future in hardship, setting a worse precedent for the generations yet unborn.
because now that the terrorists have been given money, been paid in millions or, or in foreign currency, you will see that they don't want to leave that business because they find it lucrative. The question, another question that comes to mind is that why has the government failed to secure the services of foreign organizations or persons, as it were, in the international community to help in flushing out these bandits out of the territories of Nigeria. But rather, they keep on appeasing them, sending out, doling out funds, hard-earned taxpayers' money to this group and continue to tell stories. Personally, I feel this is not right and something has to be done but what is it that can be done what can we do is the question because these guys they continue to collect money they continue to collect ransom and at the end of the day they still kill the victims this is pure wickedness everybody cannot be fulani everybody cannot do things the way fulani is do their things Everybody cannot take the decisions of a full animal. So why are they continuing to carry out this evil act upon innocent citizens? If the government is trying to make do with what they have, then definitely they have enough to fight the BH guys and uh, deliver results or lasting results as the case may be. But however, with the situation of things that has not been the case. The question now is, where are we heading to? When would Nigeria get out of this mess? This is a very, very serious situation and a very, very dangerous predicament that has befallen Nigeria as a country. How can kidnappers collect huge sum of money as ransom and still eventually kill the kidnapped? That is sheer wickedness that should not be allowed or tolerated. It is not acceptable. Nobody knows who is next. Nobody knows who will be abducted. Nobody knows who will be kidnapped. What are the um, response of the government to this particular incident is another issue. Well, it is what it is. What are your thoughts, guys, concerning this particular news story as it were? I would like to know what your opinions are. Please, kindly drop by at the comment section. Let us know what your thoughts are on this particular news story. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post new stories. Also endeavor to share these new stories with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed and even stay informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support. And I'll see you on the other news. Thank you and bye for now.